guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you what I use to take off my makeup at the end of the day. It is now six o'clock at night and I'm ready to th take this makeup off. Like I'm just like, <gasps> my face is screaming at me. Like take this off. I've had it on for way too long, 12 hours to be exact. And I'm just ready to take it off. So I use the Clinique Take Off the Day. It is a balm, and yes, I have used the fuck out of this bitch. Like, she's been used and abused, and this is a balm. It's what I use to take off my makeup. It just removes my makeup. It's just a more gentle way of removing your makeup instead of using, like, 8,000, like, makeup wipes and, like, scrubbing your skin. That's not good. That's how you create wrinkles, and <sighs> yeah. So... I'm gonna show you how I take off my makeup with this, and I will also show you kind of like my skincare routine, my nighttime skincare care routine. I guess you can say what I use to wash my face, what I use as a moisturizer at the end of the night, what I use to wash my face with, basically, because I don't use my hands, honey. No, no. So I'm gonna go in, and I'm going to take uh, probably like four dips in with the back of my thumb or the back of my finger. Kind of just like this. Do it one more time. Get about like that much. I don't know if you can see. Yes, right now it looks very disgusting. Ugh. It's going to look like that. Basically like that amount is usually good for your face. And then you're just going to go over kind of like you're putting on like suntan lotion. But you're removing your makeup. you've got basically all of it kind of semi removed you're gonna want to remove it with uh, warm water not like super hot but not like cold because it won't like remove So that usually kind of takes a while for if you put on like liquid foundation, concealer, and powder. That's usually like a lot on your face. So it usually kind of takes a while for it, you to finesse it off your face. But I mean, it works. I still have like a little bit of mascara like left over on my face. <clears throat> but other than that, I do highly recommend this product. It is very, it's a lot more easier because I used to be one of those makeup wipes like using like 8,000 to like remove my makeup and it's still like there, you know, when I go to wash my face, it's still there. So I highly recommend this. You can get this at Ulta and Sephora. <clears throat> and I will tell you with this, a little does go a long way. And this was, I want to say like $39, but you get like a lot in here. I'm trying to find like the fluid ounces. Ah, you get 3.8 fluid ounces, so that's a lot. And you don't need to use a whole lot to take your makeup off. Just a little bit and you're done. So then when you're done, you just kind of want to pat your face. Because, well, it depends. Like, if you have, like, a cleanser that requires your face to be wet to use it, then don't pat your face. But the cleanser that I use, it, work, it requires my face to be dry. And yes, the Jeffree Star lipstick did stain my lips a little. <coughs> That's what happens when you use like a red or a 
That's what happens when you use really like dark or like bright, very like outrageous lipsticks like that. It really stains your lips. So, <clears throat> this mascara like stained the crap out of my eye. I don't even think I got it all off. Like, oh no, I did. But alrighty. <clears throat> And if you do, like, if you're like me and you do like to put your foundation or, like, your powder all the way to your hairline, uh, I don't recommend, like, using this in your hairline. I just don't because it's not healthy. So you are just going to have, like, in your hairline still makeup. Th that is normal, you know. Unless you take a shower, then it's not. <clears throat> so I usually typically do have some left over in my hairline. See? It's in my hairline. So then after that, you're going to, I dry my face because the cleanser I use will dry my face to dry. So then what I use, da -da -da -da, the Clarisonic Mia 2. I am obsessed with this. This is the brush that, this brush actually did not come with this. Um, this is an acne pore cleansing brush. This is one that I had to buy separate. And it comes with this little like carrying case. <laughs> oh my god. So, <clears throat> and then the cleanser that I use is the Peter Thompson Roth 3% Glucose Solution Cleanser. This is a anti-aging. Yes, I said it. Anti-aging. This uh, it helps improve the look of pores, smoothness, radiance, fine lines and wrinkles, uneven and uneven skin tone. This, I want to say, was $39 as well. I might be wrong at this. And you can only get this at Sephora, unfortunately. Sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, going to get my bristles wet a little. And then I'm going to just put, like, same thing. A little bit of this goes a long way. I literally bought this. I don't know if you can see. It's to here. And I bought it a month ago. Yeah. Do the math. It's like, so I'm literally. Like that much. I don't know if you can see it, but you're going to do that much. And what I like about this is it has a timer. So it goes on for two seconds. No. And the timer is for two minutes and that's all you need to really like clean your face two minutes and it's an automatic timer so once you turn it on it goes for two minutes and then it automatically turns off and this is uh, rechargeable this little section right here is where you put the battery automatic battery and I usually when I know it's gonna die I usually hook it up to the charger leave it on the charger overnight and then when I, in the morning when I go to use it it's fully charged so and usually when I put the cleanser on I usually go over like once in the water just to kind of like Get it wet. I don't know why I'm weird like that. And then, here we go. like that <clears throat> the timer is done so I like to remove the bristle so that I'm able to thoroughly clean it and then I wash my face with warm water when I'm done cleaning That is clean and I can just put it right back on and I usually like dry it and all that jazz like I dry the whole entire like thing before I put it back in the case because I don't want it to get all like moldy and stink 
you know how it goes. <coughs> And then when you wash your face after you are done, you just want to pat your face. You don't want to like scrub, even though it feels good, trust me, you, but that's not good because that's how you create wrinkles. Well, all over your face, pat, 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 pat. <coughs> And the thing about what I like about this cleanser is it doesn't have a scent and my skin's like very bougie about like having scented anything on my face. It literally like immediately when I put something scented on my face, it just starts freaking out and has like the hugest bitch fit and it's like so dramatic and <sighs> so then to uh, finish off my skincare, you want to use a moisturizer, any type of like moisturizer that you have you can use don't use lotion don't use sunscreen use use eye moisturizer so i go in with the origin plan description this is a youth renewing night cream yes youth renewing meaning anti-aging because i am over the age of 25 so anti-aging like is very i'm very obsessed with it because the earlier you start with your skincare routine and your anti-aging you know skincare routine the better like your skin will look over time uh, in my opinion and this is a night cream so this is very thick in consistency and it's very i don't know it it kind of has somewhat of a scent but like with this it doesn't like irritate my skin it just doesn't so now, because, heh, I don't know if you can tell, but I have literally been using this. And this, as well, a little bit goes a long way. So, you want to take just a little bit. So, I go on the back of my thumb because I have nails and I don't want it to get in my nails. It's hard to get out. So, I just go on the back of my um, finger. And you want to get about that much. I don't know if you can tell how much that is. So, it's about like that much. And I like to rub it all over my hands just to kind of warm it up a little. And then just go all over your face. And it's very thick in consistency, so it like seeps into your skin overnight as you sleep. And it just, oh. You just want to like go over. And I, what I like to do is I like to take my ring fingers because they're the lightest part. They're the very like most like... They're very light in pressure and I just like to take the night cream and I just like to go over just to kind of like rub it in and just further like put it in there because I have like, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like really bad like under eye creases because when I was in high school, I used to like put eyeliner on my waterline and so I would like push down on my under eye. So now I'm paying for it. So I just like to take these fingers because they're the lightest in pressure and just go over with the night cream just to, I don't know I just feel like if I do that <clears throat> it just you know it just like it helps it go in there further and then whatever extra moisturizer you have I like to put on the back of my hands this is like my favorite part of the whole entire skincare routine is just putting the moisturizer on the back of my hand because I do work in food service so I am constantly, like every 30 minutes it seems like, I'm washing my hands and the the hand soap they have there is very drying on my hands so I do like to take my moisturizer at the end of the night and just put it over my hands. It very, it, I, it really leaves my hands very soft and very smooth so with that we are done with this tutorial. I really, this night cream was very expensive, I'm not going to say the price because I do have people that watch this that are just gonna be like, what the fuck? But this is very expensive, but I will say a little bit does go a long way. So, and I've had this for a month and look, I haven't even like, I haven't even made a dent. I've had this literally for a month and I haven't even hit pan. And I've had this for about, I wanna say I've had this for like six months and I'm just now having to like go to Ulta to buy more. You can buy this at Ulta and you can also buy this at Sephora as well. And they both retail for $39, I believe. I might be wrong. 
but I will link you down in the bottom bar to where you can get it. Ulta, I recommend to get it. I mean, you can get it at Sephora too, but <clears throat> I don't know. I just kind of like Ulta more at this point because safety. Yeah. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked this skincare video. This is my everyday nighttime skincare routine. And I don't think it's going to change because I am very OCD about changing up my skincare routine. I am. I just like to stick to one thing. And one thing only. And that's it. Like, So, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Smash the like button. Hit the like button. Love on the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Share this with your cat. Because cats are the best. And if you have a dog, share it with your dog as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching my very first skincare routine of 2018. I don't think I'm going to do another one because I usually do not change up my skincare routine. The only time I ever change it up is if, you know, the seasons change and I feel like... Or unless they discontinue my product that I use. But I don't think Peter Thompson, Ross, or Origins are going anywhere. So... They're not going anywhere, then neither is my skincare routine. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope, <coughs> I hope you guys like this video. <clears throat> and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.